welcome to an exciting chapter of Touring Dev Talks. This is your host, Jade Dias, tuning in from Cabo Frio, Brazil. Today's topic is for all game enthusiasts out there. So get ready because we're gonna have a thrilling discussion about games and their development with our guest on panel, Abdul, joining us from Karachi, Pakistan. Abdul has worked as a freelancer in web development before joining Touring. And today he's here to shed some light on Python 3.10, which not many of us are familiar with. And of course, we'll learn a bit about game development as well. Hi, Abdul, how are you? Thanks a lot for joining us today. How does Karachi look? Uh, hi, Jet. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Uh, I'm doing great today. Uh, Karachi, the weather in Karachi has been very pleasant. So we are having rainfall for like, you know, three to four days continuously. So right now, yeah, I'm seeing rain showers here. So yeah, it's good. Right. Yeah, great. Uh, let us begin by learning more about the latest version of Python 3.10. So, Abdul, can you tell us more about it? What are its new features and how does it make Python a most suitable language to learn for programmers? Um, Python uh, has become one of the most popular programming languages in the world um, in recent years. Uh, it's used in basically everything like, you know, from machine learning to, you know, building websites to software testing. Or you can also use it for, you know, uh, data analytics, creating automation scripts, and the list goes on. Um, talking about beginner friendly language, Python, you know, has a very simple syntax, like almost like you're just typing normal English sentences. So it's easier to read and understand, uh, making it very popular among the entry level programmers. Uh, one more important point Python has vast community support, means that if, uh, if a coder runs into a problem, so finding a solution for that problem is relatively very easy for a Python developer because there's a high chance that somebody has faced that same problem before. Um, regarding Python 3.10, I think which was released in October last year. So the new version brings some new great features and improvements like um, structural pattern matching. It's like a switch case uh, in other languages, you know, like C++, C Sharp, Java. So it's way more powerful and can handle, you know, uh, complex data structures like nested dictionaries or recursive lists. Um, there's also a group, uh, good improvements uh, in the new version, which is very helpful. Um, error messages have been improved. So now we can have a more precise error message where the error actually is, or where an error actually occurred, like, you know, showing the correct line number and the location of the error. It will be useful for the beginners and for debugging as well. Uh, we also have a new feature related to typing annotation. So like if, if a function has return types, you know, you can just use the vertical bar symbol known as, uh, you know, pipe or the or symbol used in programming languages instead of writing union uh, for typing hints. So these are some of the uh, important features and um, important improvements included in the Python 3.10. Yes. Well, looks like we must try out the new and in advanced Python pretty soon. And with these mind blowing features such as practicality and all this usability, it will be a great option for all, all the game developments out there. So, all right, uh, let's get to know more about Python 3.10, how it supports game development. Abdul, I'd like to get to know your views on how the new version will change the scenario for game development. Uh, do you think that this new version will prove to be a game changer for our game enthusiast devs? Um, in Python, we have such uh, great libraries that support game development, such as Pygame, Panda 3D, where I think uh, Pygame is the most popular library for game development. So this tool is incredibly easy to learn and its creators have done an amazing job by having pre prepared extensive documentation and a list of guidelines for the process. Um, regarding the new Python version, there have been that much, many changes that can be that we can relate to game development, but we can define many good gaming logics with the uh, with the new structural pattern we have, uh, the new structural pattern feature, uh, which is released in the Python 3.10. So uh, like, you know, uh, first let me give you a short context, like what pattern matching is. So for those who aren't familiar uh, with coding that much, so in pattern matching, we have different cases for one scenario. Like uh, uh, if, if a scenario matches for case A, so execute function A, or if it matches for case B, then function B will be ex executed and so on. 
so in the end there's a default case like if all the other cases fail to match then this case you know will be executed at the end so let's think of a, a gaming scenario like think of a bar or a cafe in your game and you having uh, different breakfast menu every single day in this bar or cafe you can have different case scenarios for this suppose uh, uh, in your game the day is monday so your bar or cafe can only serve hot coffee or if the day is tuesday uh, your bar or your bar your cafe will serve only toast so for sunday you can show that the that player that the store is closed so this will make your coding structure easy to understand and readable and it will be faster to execute as well the amazing part about game development in python is that you can enhance your uh, python coding skill and generate results graphically so you can bring out a picture uh, of your or program that can normally that you normally code in the console so this can bring uh, interest in coding for entry level coders yeah i love the metaphor of the cafe it's very easy to understand and uh, uh, now uh, now that you know that we know that python it's so brilliant really um uh, abdul i like to know what your views about um develop games using python since the common idea is that python might be not as great as let's say c plus plus or java for game development what do you think about that um, um if you google um which language should i use for game development so so the first result you see will be like rec recommendations to avoid python so however that should be a deterrent so it can be done it is it is possible like uh, if a user, a programmer, or a game developer is already familiar with the programming tools and, and takes advantage of the pre-existing tools and libraries at their disposal, so then Python for game development, I think, has a clear, clear promise, and also both now uh, and in the future too. So yes, Python. I, I agree. Python isn't that great for game development as compared to C++, C Sharp, or Java. But as they say, technology is always emerging swiftly. So right now we might not have a strong gaming engine for Python, like other languages have, such as Unreal Engine for C++ or Unity 3D uh, in C Sharp. Uh, but in the future, it is possible that you will have a strong and faster platform for game development in Python. Awesome. Uh, for your experience, Abdul, could you talk more uh, about the various frameworks that Python offers offers for game development and how is it working with MySQL as opposed to say Pygame or Turtle? Um, uh, I can name a few libraries like Python has multiple libraries for game development. Uh, some of them, some of them I can name like, you know, Pygame, uh, Pycura, uh, pandas 3d which i mentioned before uh, piglet so also for recommendation i would personally prefer to use pygame as a starting point like for game development in python adds its documentation can be really easy can be really helpful and guidelines written by the support community can be considered so uh, regarding your question with pymysql so working with pymysql really helps you around working with the mysql database server so like you know it's an interface connecting to a MySQL database server from Python. Uh, it can support SQL cursors and can handle, you know, open and close connections of databases efficiently. Really helps in executing custom SQL queries and also uh, helps in data into the, importing data into the MySQL database. Well, like, looks like Python has a lot to offer uh, in, with its frameworks for game development, uh, like supporting game engines. Abdul, what is your take on Python being one of the base language that support game engines? Um, software framework mainly designed for the game develop, de uh, for the development of video games, uh, like includes relevant libraries and support programs. Like, you know, the engine terminology is similar to the software engine uh, used in the software industry. So game engine can also refer to the development software utilizing this framework and typically offering a suite of tools and features for developing games. So, you know, developers can use game engines to construct games for video game consoles and other type of computers. Truly informative. Awesome. Um, so uh, are any other amazing games that you can 
uh, uh, tell us about that was built on Python? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Python, I think, can be a handy tool in most game development projects. If not only for 3D object rendering, it can be used for machine learning, mathematical calculations, uh, data analysis, and uh, you know you can do data processing. And I believe many of the largest gaming companies use Python for these kinds of things. Uh, if you know that the games, uh, uh, some of the largest games Python, uh, they Python used in, like you know Battlefield 2 uh, uses Python to implement core elements of the gameplay, such as score keeping and team balancing. Uh, Star Trek Bridge Commander, this famous game, which uses Python both as the mission scripting language and also for a ton of other features. So there's also a famous multiplayer game, um, I think, uh, World of Tanks, uh, like its servers are driven by the big world engine. So, and it is written in, I think, um, uh, C++ and Python, and many of their background work is written in Python. Awesome. Uh, uh, in the beginning of our interview, you were saying you were talking about machine learning. And since you are enthusiastic about it, could you throw some light on how is it helpful in the process of game development? Or how can we integrate Python in artificial intelligence to produce better gaming experiences? Uh, yeah, machine learning or AI has already taken a big stance in the gaming world. So it is commonly used to generate intelligent behaviors, mainly in the non-player characters, usually called NPCs, that try to imitate you know, human-like intelligence. So when we play video games, uh, uh, the correct human-like behavior or response of an NPC is actually the exciting part. You know? So where, where we get surprised, like how an AI actually he reacts the same way just like us just like humans do in real life <laughs> so since ai and python uh, are already best friends together then it's also possible to integrate python games with to with ai so with pi game you can create games that integrate ai algorithms uh, for example you can create a maze game um, where you can have the freedom to create the maze world and your algorithm will, you know, uh, automatically search for the shortest path uh, in the game. Or you can do some um, great visualization stuff with Pygame. Like you, you can visualize like how different algorithms behave when given a data set, like how much time does it take to complete the process. Or create a bot in tic-tac-toe or in a chess game where players will have some difficult time competing against that bot. So these are the exciting stuff that, you know, makes him fall in love with uh, Python and AI. Whoa, truly awesome. Uh, I had a lot of fun talking to you, Abdu. But you, as we wrap this up, can you share some final thoughts for all de developed friends out there who are willing to learn more about Python's new version? Where can they head on to learn more about it? Uh, yeah, you can head over to their official, to the official Python website, you know, for uh, documentation where they have described each features with examples in in great details and also there's tons of stuff out there on youtube and google for uh, you can actually check out like what are the new features for this new version of python uh, what are the improvements so yeah i think uh, official python website will be great to check out these things that was really helpful Abdu. thanks a lot for joining us today i really enjoyed talking to you and i hope our audience found this useful too yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's been great. I think it was a good experience uh, taking this uh, interview. So yeah, I think it was quite enjoyable. I enjoyed it. Great. Thank you. To everybody out there, if you have any queries, please feel free to drop us an email at support at turing.com. Let us know in the comments below what you like to learn in the next video and give this a big thumbs up if you like this video and do not forget to subscribe. To subscribe we will be back with a lot more Turing developer stories, but until then, stay safe and click on the link in the description below to apply to Turing. Thank you. Bye.